when people hear about the Ba'ath party and, and the energy and the passion that there was to get rid of them, what are we referring to exactly? Because I think a lot of the discussion of Iraq now, when people talk about the oppression or the corruption or the tyranny of Iraq, they talk 2003 plus. So always the discussions are, you know what, the downfall of Saddam, look at what's happened, look at the evil that's taken place. Do you think people have forgotten 77 till 03? Absolutely. And, and one of the words you always hear, whether you're talking to Middle Eastern experts or Western experts, is, well, before 2003, at least Iraq had security and stability. Mm -hmm. And you think, what security and what stability for the hundreds of thousands till today in unmarked graves, buried in mass graves that are uh, um, unidentifiable? What about the one million human beings who lost their lives? Muslims, most vast majority Muslims during the Iraq uh, Iran war. What about the rape and pillaging uh, of Kuwait, which uh, preceded the Intifada? Uh, it wasn't like we were living from 1970 to 2003 in a peaceful, uh, stable uh, country. And it has to be said, although Saddam was one man, um, it was much more than about one man. He had uh, security forces, the Republican Guard, the Mukhabarat, the uh, Amn al Khas, vast, vast networks and organizations which were the tools to violently uh, suppress and silence any uh, dissent. So, one of the things we can't even compare pre and to post 2003 is at least now, regardless of all the challenges and problems, people are free to speak. You know, people can speak against the religious establishment. People can speak against the political parties. Yeah. You can publicly speak against the prime minister. Before 2003, you could never gauge genuinely what the people uh, were feeling because any journalist coming from outside would have a minder from the regime you know giving them access or not giving them access depending on what version of the story they wanted uh, to hear but absolutely i think people forget and what's actually even more disappointing so i've been regularly traveling to iraq uh, post 2003 mm. and in one of my uh, recent trips i was in kalamia uh, you know predominantly Shia dominated uh, area of Baghdad. Yep. And I was just having a haircut and the Baba who was born in 92, 93, very young guy, mm. wouldn't even remember Saddam, uh, said very casually and unprompted, we didn't talk about Saddam. Yes. Just as he was cutting my hair, he said, Allah rahmak Saddam. And I, and I actually had to pause. May God have mercy on Saddam. May God, yeah, yeah. May God have mercy on Saddam. I'm thinking, what, what do you even remember uh, from Saddam's era? But now, so even inside Iraq and even amongst the Shias and amongst the Kurds, uh, you hear this more and more often. And I don't think it's anything to do with a respect for Saddam himself or what his regime sure, uh, represented. Sure. It's more used not to love attack- of Mu Not love of Muawiyah, hate of Ali. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's hate of the current status quo that leads <sighs> people to romanticize and have this nostalgia about pre-2003 Iraq. But as you know very well, it was brutal, it was violent, it was bloody. Uh, Wouldn't you be brutal against insurgent groups calling themselves brotherhoods or parties to the call of Islam? I, I just, I just I want mean, to put a 